and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at the new input system from Roblox. To enable it, go to File, Data Features, scroll down a bit, uh, until you see this. Enable it, click Save, and Restart Studio to make it work. And because it's new, I've made a module for it. So let me show you how it works. Uh, let me show you the example first. Uh, we require the input, which is the module of name. Then we're gonna create a new action. This is the category. So we have like multiple categories. We have like UI, and we can have like player, um, walk, attacks, anything. And then we have interact. This is the name of the action. I've just call it interact now. And then we get the keyboard binding. Keyboard binding is a, it's obvious, I guess, just the key for the button, I guess. And the gamepad binding, which is here. Then after that, you can do a function. I just made print EA to test it. And then here we have the cooldown. So let me put the name. Okay. And we have multiple stuff we can do here. So new action, and we can do the set state, like here. And we can either do false or true, so it's a boolean. And uh, if you do false, it does not show it any. Like you cannot, if you press it, it doesn't do anything anymore. But if you do true again, it does. That's what I'm doing right here. And then we got change keys. So change keys, it's literally the same thing, just put this change the keys and it will do it for you and just change the keys to a different one you can also change the function same thing function change func and do the next function um what you can do is also new action uh set context state that is a uh, basically category so you can do uh, uh false in this so it will uh, disable the category UI so all of the bindables that are in there won't be enabled anymore and uh, we can also do this cooldown so we can check it out enabled sets I mean, we need that. the keys action context last press time rest connection you don't really need those but it's like the variable of it and you can change enabled equals like this as well instead of set state same for context uh, like this what really matter uh, so let me show you the example I've done right here I press play so we got here I press E it doesn't work anymore because uh, yeah it stopped like uh, changed keys set false and then it won't work anymore so let me change it again let me do uh let me remove this one and just change to add to f then so now it, i gotta press f instead of e so it doesn't and it does it also switched to this function as you can see so instead of this it runs this one now and yeah that's basically the main purpose of it you can add more stuff if you want or optimize it i made it kind of quick but uh here it is and it will be inside of the description so i hope you guys like this tutorial and yeah i also really like this input the features they added because uh for game pads like controllers uh it was really hard or complicated more ish to do it and now it's really easy so I hope you guys like this tutorial and maybe see you later.